this is the position after after insertion in the circle canal now i am planning to give at least 20 ml or 15 ml of the solution years old child has shortening of tendoapis you can notice here now uh, in this i have given quadral sacral block using 12 ml of local anesthetic solution now you can notice the shortening tendoapis is quite prominent here i have just dorsally flex the foot and i am marking here a midline and i will like to make cuts here so maybe here so what happens i will make a translinear cut here in the tentoaglis by using a bart parker knife or catrack knife and i will divide the fibers on the outer aspect here and here so this will be a relatively free segment and now on the medial side i will make a cut here so now these two portion will slide apart slide apart and this will be done under tunicate be marked on the patient this is the heel here and i have marked a linear incision and two cuts on the lateral aspect and one cut on the middle aspect when we separate when we do a forceful dorsiflexion what happens these two parts of the tendoaglis will separate out moves away and see in the defect there is formation of new collagen tissue until that time we have to support the foot in uh, plaster of paris or any sort of a splint for at least one and a half month time so that the new collagen will form and this tendoaglis will heal in a lengthened position assistants dorsi flex this and now i will make a puncture here see stabilize the skin dorsi flex it stabilize the skin here puncture in the center here pull the skin up go deep down deep down deep down as i am going here is going there and then keep the edge of the knife towards the roof tilt the tilt it and advance it closely don't move the skin here is going deep deep and deep just to break the fibers without making cut in the now so we have splitted the tendon in the midline right now withdraw the knife turn it up insert exactly in the midline in a quadral direction insert it insert it and then split the tendon exactly in the midline and be very careful here and just keep the knife tangential don't cut the skin suddenly cut the skin and just break the major part of the fibers longitudinally tilt it further
Now, withdraw the knife. Make a cut as I have already marked. Divide half of the fibers here on the middle aspect. Now, the edges, edge of the knife is on the middle aspect. Tighten, tighten the tendons here. Now, I will divide the middle fibers here. Gradually, you just see I am cutting the fibers because the fibers are very taut. See, and be careful not to damage your own finger. See, gradually we are dividing the fibers here. Now the only skin is left. So I have divided the major part of the fibers. See, they get divided here. Now the same way, make a cut here, make a cut here, and divide. Now you can hear the sound of cutting fibers. Don't flex more. Just, just keep steady. So I have divided the see the tip of the knife is is visible here. So we have divided these fibers. Now see the tip is there, and now you can feel the see see there's nothing is left there. Only the tip is hardly few fibers left. We have just divided the fibers here. Now this part is now we can feel the cut here. Now divide puncture this skin and divide the lateral half in the upper part. It's gone down, down through and through, and then cut the fibers like this. See, they have divided the fibers here. Now, you can feel the depression I will show you here. Now, see the depression is here. Now, this, this indicates the fiber has been divided. See, so one depression here, and another I will put the one speaker. There the another cut is here. See, the depression is through and through. And third is here. <coughs> third is here. Now this few fibers are still there. So I will further. Although we can feel the depression here, now even the few fibers are there, we will just care carefully. Don't divide the tendon through and through. So I have made the cut here. Now is complete so the three cuts one depression here see this one depression this is the second depression here and third is this depression is here now we will control dorsiflex leave it there we will just there will be sound see the cut is here and it's sliding down now you can feel the cut here just zoom it the cut is here and now, now this is moving apart and this cut is here and now we will very gently with the help of otherwise this will damage the limb. Now this part in the depression is there. Now gap is increased here. See? Now fibers are breaking. Now gradually they are separating out. Gradually rupture the fibers. Yeah, sound is already, you have heard the sound, now they separated out, now I will show you, now they see the position, how much, now see the gap is here, this is the gap, this is the gap here, 
you can notice and this only bulging part is this so this is one edge here this is the one edge here and second edge is there and here there is a depression and there is a depression now see this is now in the neutral position now so very few fibers are there and the limb is in this position Now only this part is, is intact. This has gone. This again is, is a big depression here. See? The, another depression is here. Three fibers left behind. And another depression is there. It's splinting after release of sorting of tendoeclisis that you should not or the plaster should not uh, apply any pressure over the tendoris. Otherwise, what will happen when you open the bandage, whole of this skin over the tendo against the slough out. So, after putting the cotton and the bandage here, I have put a gloves cover with cotton and after putting a plaster spin, we will pull it out so that here the plaster will be overhanging. This will not uh, press over the tendon skin. Right? This part is very important. 